there are around a million Sikhs and Hindus in the UK and that this school where we are today is just around the corner from the largest Sikh temple outside India. But how many of the rest of us know about their beliefs? Well, our last big question deals with uh, one of them, central belief, reincarnation. Have we all been here before? No, 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 no first of all, I just, I, can I just uh, finish up on I speak to Andrea now? I think. Um, just, yeah. just a couple of points. First yeah. of all, if God is equal to all his children, then surely he will, all, he will give us all an equal start in life. Yet we see that some some people are born God, God to starving God. peasants in Ethiopia, yet others are born right. to wealthy families in America. It, 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 Secondly, I, I, I must how, how can the God be a God of cosmic justice? How can, how can the God be a God of, who, who distributes justice when, for a finite amount of good we do in this life, we receive an infinite... Um, reward in heaven. I'm with you. Right, Andrea, 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 right, okay. <laughs> Andrea, you do, you do past regression, I don't you? I am a past life regression And you've been many things, we've all been many things. I'm a spiritual things. teacher, I regress over my time, you've I've regressed peasant. thousands of people you've, to past lives. You've been a yeah, peasant, we, it's not just clear We incarnate stuff, to it? learn, grow and evolve. Every mm. discussion we've had today could be explained away through karma, collective karma of humanity who've incarnated onto planet Earth. Humanity is at the tipping point of consciousness now. It's not a point of selling arms or not selling arms. We're actually fighting over things. Will humanity continue to exist living on planet Earth because of our collective karma? Let me ask karma? you, please. I mean, you've, you've been many lives, you've done many regressions, and one of the criticisms of this is that people are always, oh, I was Napoleon, or I was, you know, Cleopatra. But Somebody you were telling me earlier on, you've been some very ordinary I've been things. All kinds what have of you things. been? What have you, a peasant? The point is, I mean, yes, I've done past life regression on TV show, and we focused on the prison? glamour of that. What I want to talk about is emotions. We're here to evolve consciousness in emotions. We're here to learn to grow, <laughs> forgive, compassion, love, understanding. The adoption, you can go back in past life regression. Have you learned from your past life? A hundred percent. You can go back to any colour of skin, any socio-economic background, any religion even. So through regression, I, uh, I regress Alison? people back into that. And we scientifically prove through quantum physics that what? soul continues on. Uh, quantum uh, physics uh, proves it. Uh, Alison? I'm a Christian. Let me put it to this. You weren't thing. always. In a previous life, I can tell you, you were I something <laughs> else. <laughs> I was not in a previous life, ever. It's about love and ever. compassion of all beings. Quantum physics is I, I just want to put it this way. You talk about regression. Well, first of all, how do you know? Secondly, if you've not lived a terribly good life on this earth, and you've regressed, and you come back as a worm, how are you going to you know... You haven't? Well, how do you know? Well, I sit there and I lower your brain frequency because children, some children organically remember their past lives. And by the time you get to eight, around about eight, your belief system and programming from your cultural environment, from your parents, will start to possibly, depending on the parents or the situation you're in, have you dismiss your experiences as fantasy and, oh, you've made all that up. We exactly. organically, many of us, remember who we are. We remember where we've come from. We remember past lives. We're here to transcend the karma of our past lives. We're here to let go of all the negative aspects. So we can remember more than we think we remember. You Absolutely. were telling me about your time in prison your and everything. Frequency. Wendy, you go into that and you heal Wendy. Diseases. What, what do you think about this lowering, lowering brain frequency and I, all that I stuff? I just would be, fasc I would just be fascinated <laughs> to see the machine that could, could establish the truth of that. Necessary. No, but it's that's the me. point. W Wendy that's Grossman. That's the point. Wendy. Thousands it's of people Wendy. And help them. Andrea, Wendy. That's the point, however. The, the whole, the, the skeptic, which, uh, you know, I'm here as a, as a skeptic, the whole, the whole point is, what is the evidence for this? And if you can't I think measure it... the evidence it, is that people heal, learn, and grow, and evolve, the, and their lives are enlightened the, and better by their that experience. Is, that is not what a scientist would call evidence. Uh, what do you, uh, Salma Yacoub. I'm with... Uh, Thousands, of, millions of people across the planet believe in this. It's fascinating, isn't it? And I respect that. People are entitled to their belief systems. I don't think that... Um, I'm a Muslim. I believe in things which you can't scientifically prove. That's the point of having a belief. Otherwise, it would be... A fact, I believe, like Christians do, in life after death. As Muslims, we have a similar concept that we, uh, our souls are eternal, we have a temporary body, and things that we do and don't do, we will have to answer for on the Day of Judgment. Mm -hmm. And according to how we lived in this life, the quality of our afterlife will be affected. So in that sense, uh, the monotheistic religions are, are pretty similar. And I think, to be honest, any system, any ideology, which focuses you to try and be the best person you can be, whatever the name is, whether it's Buddhism, Sikhism, Hinduism, if you're motivated that you want to have a better karma in the next life because you believe you're going to come back many times and you're a better human being because of that, good. But I want to say something. I really want to say something.
No, no, I don't speak things, to Douglas. Wendy. One of the things I get really angry about as an agnostic is the implication that you cannot be a good and moral person unless you are a religious person. No, I, and the yeah. thing I would like to say, the thing I would like to say, is that not having a belief that there is an afterlife in which I will be rewarded or punished means to me that I must make the absolute best of the life I have yeah. today and be the best person I can be about it. That's nice. That's nice. Douglas, but Douglas. a lot of people don't. Any system which makes you about that, that's what I said. Any belief, any belief including her belief, yes. And in fact, yeah. many religious today. systems, mm. sometimes by saying we are the only saved people, feel then they'd have to do anything. And I think that's dangerous. So I think religion can be agree. used as a force Douglas, for good Douglas Murray. as well as oppression. Thoughts? Uh, well, I, I mean, my initial thought is, is simply that the whole idea of reincarnation is just another of the one, another of the things that humans have come up with to console themselves about reality, which is that when they die, they die. And it, there have been all sorts of systems that have come up over the years to try to deal with this fear that human beings have always had, the most elemental fear. Um, the fact that it's not true, I don't think, doesn't mean that good can't come from it. Uh, personally, I believe that, for instance, the idea that in your life you strive uh, throughout your life to be better, uh, and it, I mean, you know, my own feeling is that religions, when they're, they're best, are metaphorical. And this is a perfectly good example of it. I don't think that, I don't think the lady at the, right, at the back there has ever been anything else other than who she is now, whatever she thinks. But, uh, but, what, but what do you think about these children who have extraordinary say, memories of past lives? Well, and you know, what's people, going on? Well, well, what's going on? They've made it up. They've invented it, of course. <laughs> but look, but look, just finally, I mean, it doesn't mang up, but it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that, good, can I just finish? It doesn't, there's no scientific research that's shown this. There's no quantum physics, as the lady there said. There look, look, Andrea, 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 Andrea. There are examples. There are examples. Yeah, whatever, yeah, can what, I, wait a minute. Can I just say whatever that the reasons for them are, of children about, coming out with extraordinary yes, facts. Children aren't remember they? past lives. Can I just mention, first of all, you mentioned the Bible, but you need to look at the Archaic text, which goes yeah. back 6,000 years. You're and in it, he says, so he says, Jesus says, I was <laughs> Elijah and, before. And it's, no, it's the Archaic text. My, you maybe don't know about the Archaic text. But I think you've lowered Douglas's brain frequency. I've set his ego You keep on throwing jargon at people. But if you didn't allow me to finish my point, which was this, that, 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 uh, that this whole idea, although it's false, I think, is nevertheless has good that comes from it. I think the That's idea that says, people yes, strive thing. throughout yeah. their lives uh, for betterment like that is obviously a good idea. If people get that from religion, then great. You don't need religion for that. Yes, but good, good, no, you don't. I can assure you, madam, that the lady there and I don't need to pretend that we used to be somebody. What is Derek thinking? Wait, quick, what is Derek? What do you think about this? Very simply, I think it's important that people are allowed to pursue their religious pursuits. Well said. They find comfort in that. Yeah. As a practicing Christian, we believe in a linear existence as opposed to a cyclic cyclic um, existence as a reincarnation. Yeah. We believe, exactly what Peter has said, based on our faith, that there is one God and that we live a life the best that we can and there is a re reward at the end of that. Yeah. And I think it's quite important that we recognize a person's right to have their views and to be allowed to follow it as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else. Would you like to be regressed by Andrea, Alison? I'd love to know what you were in a previous life. Can so we do would I. Yeah. <laughs> you could do that quite easily. <laughs> Point we're running out of time, but you, you, would, would you consider doing it for Alison? hundred percent. We're all each other's brothers and, and sisters. And we will see you next other. time. Join us next week from Cardiff when we will return. Goodbye from everybody here in Birmingham. Have a great Sunday.